As we come together today to give thanks to the Lord, let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, as a grateful parish community, and certainly as a grateful nation, we come together today and this weekend to give thanks. The Lord has blessed us with so much. In fact, he has blessed us with all that we need and all that we are. And over and above that, he blesses us with the gift of himself in his son and the spirit. And so to this God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let us with grateful hearts give glory. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good Father all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless and your goodness infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day, 
with gratitude for your kindness, open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child, so that we may share your gifts in loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and praise from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge. As the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you will wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ, he will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable 
on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned glorifying God in a loud voice and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A happy Thanksgiving to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers, as a grateful nation, appreciative of all that God has blessed us over the years to this day, we come together to give thanks. We turn to the heavens and say, for all that has been, thanks, and to all that will be, yes. My dear sisters and brothers, as we come together today to give God thanks for all the blessings that he has sent our way, I notice that there is something common among all of us. Everyone listening to me has something in common, and I share that with you. It is this, we all want to be happy. We want to be joyful. And so our human life is but a search for this happiness. And today, as we come together to give God thanks, the other word that stands out is gratitude. 
And so I ask myself, what is the connection? What is the relationship between happiness and gratitude? Who is a happy person? And who is a grateful person? Is it happy people that are grateful? Or is it grateful people that are happy people? You know, there are persons that we know and read about who seem to have all it takes to make them happy. And yet, we notice that they struggle. They struggle with so many issues in life. And a good number also end up taking their lives. And so it's not necessarily happy people, as we know them, are people who are grateful people. And as opposed to this category of people who seem to have it all, there is another group of people who lack the basic amenities of life, and yet they seem to be so very happy, precisely because they are a grateful people, they tend to be a happy people. Let's take a look at the word gratitude. When you receive something that is of value, and that thing of value is something that has been given to you and given to you freely, for which you didn't have to work for or move towards, then gratitude arises spontaneously in your heart. And you notice that as you give thanks, you are happy. And so it is grateful people that are happy people. It's easy to be grateful now and then, here and there. But can we be a grateful people all the time? Is there any way you and I can choose to be filled with gratitude and thereby we end up being a happy people all the time. You know, there is one thing that we are all blessed with, a moment, time, the present. And every moment comes to us with a gift in itself. And the gift is this, that it contains in it an opportunity for us to be grateful, to be happy. And the moment that God gives us, time that he blesses us, is something that you and I cannot earn. It's something of great value. In fact, everything in life, and life itself, is but a series of these moments put together. And so I ask myself, what if I choose to be grateful in every moment for all that I have been blessed with, for all that I am allowed to become, for all the possibilities that I can turn out to be? And then I realize that there lies the seed of being happy precisely by being grateful in every given moment. If only I can be grateful every moment, how happy I would be. And so my dear sisters and brothers, today as a grateful nation, as we gather to give God thanks, why not choose to be grateful in every moment? Of course, we cannot be grateful for everything. We cannot be grateful for ill health. We cannot be grateful for a lost job. We cannot be grateful for a misunderstanding. We certainly cannot be grateful for a ruptured or broken relationship. 
much less can we be grateful for the loss of a loved one. But in and through all this, through ill health, in loss of a job, in loss of ill health, in loss of a relationship, and in the loss of a loved one, we can still be grateful. We cannot be grateful for being betrayed. We cannot be grateful for violence. We cannot be grateful for war. But in all these, we can be grateful and thereby we can be happy people. A little formula or a system or a safety net to keep ourselves grateful and thereby happy. Something that we were taught as children. As we crossed the road, we were taught to stop, look, and go. Stop, look, proceed. And so, how about stop, look, and give thanks? Most of you know that I come from India. And when I go back home, and it's already two years since I went home last, usually it's in the month of April or May, it's summer there. And there is a frequent failure of electricity. Water runs out. The fans don't go, and sometimes you send sleepless nights. And so, when there is electricity, I give thanks. When I open the faucet and water flows, I give thanks. And when I'm able to have a peaceful sleep at night without problems from mosquitoes, I give thanks. But what I forget is, to give thanks every time I switch on the electricity, every time I open the faucet, or every time I have a good night's rest. And so there is that need in me, and I'm sure in you as well, to have this constant reminder to give thanks. And so let us, as we give thanks today for all that God has blessed us with, Resolve to stop, to look, and to give thanks because grateful people are happy people and God has blessed us with so much to feel grateful all the days of our life. Happy Thanksgiving. Let's with joy and gratefulness give God thanks. With grateful hearts, let's rise and give God thanks. Let your response be, we thank you, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord. For the gift of the church, we, we thank, thank you, you Lord. O Lord. For the gift of our world and the miracle of all creation, we, we thank, thank you, you, O Lord. For the gift of our nation, and those who serve it. We thank, we thank you, you, O Lord. For the gift of our parish community. We, we thank, thank you, O Lord. For the gift of our family, those chosen and those given. We, we thank, thank you, O Lord. Lord. For the gift of our lives. We, we thank, thank you, O Lord. Lord. Lord, we raise our voices in gratitude for gifts given, and in grateful praise we extol your name. Grant that we might live in peace with the knowledge that all we are flows from you. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we lift up bread and wine at the table and give God thanks as a grateful community, together with the pastoral leadership and the pastoral staff, I'd like to give God thanks for every one of you, for each of our families, for all the deceased members of our parish community because of whom we are who we are today. And uh, so many of you have been supporting the parish community in its ministries in various ways. For all your generosity, we give God thanks. May God bless you. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. God, our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts so that we might learn to share your blessings in gratitude Accept these gifts of bread and wine and let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to all our sisters and brothers in the human family. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, 
through Christ our Lord. You have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Christ, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate salvation, freedom from sin and every blessing. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, the deceased members of our families, and our former pastors, Jim McGee and Monsignor Mullen, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that they, who were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, with St. John Vianney, 
Don Bosco, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may come to be co-best to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As you engage in spiritual communion today, I would invite and urge you to give God thanks. God who made the world for us, made us for himself. And he who made us for himself, gave himself away to us in love. That's what we celebrate in the Eucharist too. And so we give thanks.
robbers of the wood, the cry speaks, the heart seeks. Gathered as one, we listen to the word and share the meal of new Springtime to fall, the wine flows, in Christ we recall, the sharing of our lives with one and all. seeds upon the field, the hand sows, the seed grows. Take now and eat the covenant fulfilled, the bread of promise and life. The wheat grows from springtime to fall. Having participated in this Eucharist, we now give God thanks for all the blessings that he has sent our way. This may be a good time to thank the Lord for family and friends, for all the skills and talents that he has blessed us with, for all that we have and all that we are. It's all his mercy, and his gift. And so we say, thank you. Let us give thanks. In this celebration, O Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As is our tradition in our parish community to bless all the food and drink that we would like to share with our family and, of course, with the poor, uh, we'll now engage in uh, the blessing of food and drink. And if you have them with you at home, you may hold them up for this blessing. God of love, bless the bread before us this day. May it represent homes that never suffer hunger and tables that are filled with nourishment and comfort. Bless this wine today that we may always have joy, that our cups may always overflow with the flavor of your love. Bless the tables to which this food goes forth, that each feast may foster fellowship, health, and peace. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, I'd like to wish all of you 
a very happy Thanksgiving. You are St. John Vianney, and you have been walking with one another and all of us together in the direction that God has pointed out to us to the best of our abilities. Thank you for your presence and participation in the community life of our parish. Thank you for the faith that you share, for the faith that you spread. Thank you for all the help that you send the way of our parish to continue God's work in various ministries. May God bless your patience and forbearance. May God bless your perseverance. As we conclude, could I remind you that if God had a refrigerator, your picture would be on it. If he had a wallet, your photo would be in it. Each spring, he sends us flowers, and every morning, he sends us a sunrise. Let's face it, sisters and brothers, God is so much in love with us. And for this, let's together give God thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Give thanks to the Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. For He is good, He is above all things. His love endures forever. Sing praise, sing praise. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, his love endures forever For the life that's been reborn His love endures forever Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise, Sing praise. Forever God is faithful God is strong, forever God is with us, forever, forever God is faithful, forever God is strong.